one. Hi, I'm Dave. This is the Cider Baby Show, and today I am speaking to the legend that is Keith St. John. Hello. What's up, Dave? Good to uh, see you, man. Good to see you as well. Finally, after all these years, because I've been a big follower of Burning Rain for years and years and years, and I've got like, the first three albums, and it's like brilliant. And yeah, so this this is a bit of a moment for me. Well, you know what? You and I are the, in the same position, man. <laughs> it's uh, I know it's been a few moments between records and, uh, you know, it, you know, luckily or however you want to look at it for Burning Raid, maybe it's unluckily, but luckily we've been busy and uh, we've been working and, and doing a lot of stuff. So uh, mm. but in that time, each time we make a new record, we have so much more maturity and um We've we've become more graceful and we we write better and uh, the albums just keep getting better. So yeah, um, they certainly do. I'm hoping number five is coming up soon. Excellent, excellent. Um, well, I mean, what is occurring in the Keith St. John camp? I mean, you've got a little tour in the UK coming up very soon, I believe. I do, I do, and uh, you know what inspired me to think about that. And uh, well, I was I'm doing this. Let me back up. I'm doing this show called Raiding the Rock Vault, which is kind of a tribute walk through rock and roll history, you know, from the Who and the Stones and Hendrix all the way through like Van Halen and stuff, you know, kind of like yeah. that bit of rock and roll area. It doesn't start as early as like Elvis or whatnot. And it's okay, you know, I'm doing it. I'm having a good time. And um, it's easy because there's like four singers in the show and you kind of go on off stage, sing your little bit and whatnot. And um yeah, I've been killing a little bit of time since COVID with that. And a big break is coming up this fall in that show. And I right. said to myself, man, what do I want to do during this break? And um, the very first thing that came to mind was uh, I'd love to do that acoustic format that Doug and I did back in Europe in 2019. Because yeah. we came out there, we went to, uh, well, we spent a lot of time in the UK, but we also went to Sweden and Prague and uh, and France and and Austria and a few other places. And but I really like the crowd in the UK, and um, I, I just really seem to connect. I don't know what it is the people, the, the the culture, the history, the certain love for certain rock and roll that's there, and of course all the all the bands that came out of England were so great, you know. And I guess yeah. maybe it rubs off on the people. So that was kind of the first thing I thought about. And I called up like a partner agent of the agent we had used back then. And right. he said, yeah, man, that sounds amazing. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Let's do it. And um, before you know it, wham, bam, bam, we put it together. And all of a sudden, I don't have half of October off anymore <laughs> from the show. And I'm really happy it worked out timing wise because I only had certain windows but those windows were like solid wide open. And, right. uh, you know, a guy, a guy named uh, C.R. on whom you probably know, uh, put that all together. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've got a list of shows here. Do you want to have you got the list there or do you want me to run through them? Uh, I probably have the list here in front of me in the computer that I could pull up. But, right. uh, OK, I'll, I'll run through them um, where you start at the third of October yeah. in Edinburgh and Bannermans. Bannermans. Yes. yes. And uh, then the fourth at Hull at O'Reilly's, uh, fifth Bradford Night Train, the sixth Norwich the B two, the eighth you've got a day off at the seventh. Hope you enjoy yes. that day and spend it. Yeah. Well. Oh yeah. <laughs> the eighth is Sheffield at the Corporation. Ninth at London the Black Heart, which is a place I really really do love. Um, the tenth at Cannock the Station, and you end up in Northampton on the eleventh at the Black Prince. Does that Correct. sound about right? That sounds about right. That sounds yeah. exactly right. Excellent, excellent. So, um, I have been hearing that list, so I, I think I have it memorized pretty well. Good, good. Uh, well, I did. I did a list the other day, and there was like three, three or four dates missing. And I thought I oh, should have done my uh, research a little bit better and more thoroughly, but never mind. <laughs> right on. Are there any of those uh, those cities that you might be able to make it down to? Ooh, um, ooh I don't know. I, I'm based in the southwest, so I'm sort of like very mm. far from everywhere. Edinburgh, kind of. definitely not. Uh, but um, <laughs> London, London and the Canic, uh date, those two dates. Maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. I'll get there. I guess those are the further south, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, preferred, preferred uh, venues for myself. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, so um, go on. 
Uh, I was going to say, you know, I love anytime I could play with Doug Aldridge because, you know, he's been my partner in crime since 99. And he and I have such a thing together chemistry wise, both in the studio and live that, I mean, he knows what I'm going to do after this many years. I know what he's going to do. And, you know, it's just a blast when we play yeah. together. And of course, uh, you know, I would love to do this with him again right now. And he would come over if he could. But, uh, you know, the Dead Daisies are pretty busy right now. And yeah. yeah, he couldn't cut out at the moment. But the guy that uh, wound up actually hearing about it through the grapevine and called me kind of wanting to do it is a mutual friend of mine and Doug's, uh, right. a fellow by the name of Jack Frost. I don't know if you're familiar. I'm not, no. Um... Well, uh, Jack was in a band called Sabotage. Yeah. And uh, his, he was in a band called Lizzie Borden. Um, a band he did over in Europe. His band was called Seven Witches. Right now, I think he's touring with Aldo Nova. Right. So, okay. He's done some stuff. He's got a resume, but he's such a kindred spirit. I mean, this guy, um, I, I throw a concert every year uh, when there's a proper NAM festival in Anaheim. And, um, you know, everybody comes. All the, all the sort of West Coast guitar slingers come. Brad Gillis and George Lynch and... We've had Steve Stevens and Brad Whitford and some some names and stuff and um, and Doug comes and Tracy Guns and et cetera et cetera and one one year this guy shows up I didn't know him from Adam and he introduces himself Hey I'm Jack blah 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 I live on the East Coast brother and uh, but I'm really really into Ronnie Montrose and he gives me an old original like from the 70s like from 1975 like Montrose shirt like tour shirt wow. that I haven't seen around in a long time. And he says, man, bro, I just wanted you to have this. I see what you're doing. I really appreciate it. Let me know, man, if you ever need some help, you know, give me a call, come by, see you later. Like it wasn't kind of, you know, hanging on mm. and really trying to. And then the next time I ran into him was probably a year later and I was doing another show and I was producing it and he called me up and just asked me if I wanted any help. Hey, bro, man you know, you do the Ronnie thing and I love you. You're all about the right stuff, man. I want to come down and help you. And he showed right. up at a, at a gig and just helped me out. I'm like, this dude is just really, I mean, he's got a good heart. Yeah. And anyway, um, turns out over the years, Doug knows him too. And um, we both just love this guy. And I think I couldn't have found a better dude to come over. And he's a brilliant guitar player. Uh, yeah. I couldn't have found a better guy to come over here and do this with me. And he's a great singer too, which in an acoustic duo really helps out a lot. It does yeah. So Jack Frost, man, he's uh, he's going to be out there with me doing it, and uh, hopefully we're going to burn some rooms down with this thing. <laughs> so what are the people <laughs> going to expect? I mean, you say an acoustic show. Are you just going to are you just going to stick to the Burning Rain catalog? Or no, you... no, no. Well, um, it's advertised as kind of a sort of mini trip through my career. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know, but I kind of started the sort of more celeb status career in L.A. Uh, when I joined a band called Montrose with Ronnie yeah. Montrose. Yeah. So I did that. And um, before that, I had a couple of things going on with some some uh, famous cats already, let's say. Uh, but um, after that started, it seemed like I was already in the party in the backyard and kind of. Yeah, You know, people would just sort of automatically assume that was worth calling up. So, you know, then I started doing projects with Lynch and like I said, Tracy Guns and um, all kinds of other cats and over the years. And um, so let's see, uh, I did a I did two different bands with Rudy Sarzo. One right. was called Sun King on Giant Records that Irving Azoff signed. And um, and we did another one actually with Tracy. Um, okay for a while and um let's see what else i did uh, a moment in there with quiet riot i toured with lynch mob for quite a while i did a record with george um let's see i was with a version of nazareth for a little while a bunch of these touring stints over the years i did spend a significant amount of time with lynch and a significant yeah. amount of time even a more significant amount of time with mantra so when I play over here, people expect to hear some of that stuff. Yeah. So, you know, I figured we'd bring some of that stuff with us over there, too. Um, it depends. You know, we test it out. 
we'll play uh, the intro to Space Station Number Five or Rock Candy and see how it feels. And if people are responding, they are. If not, we'll stop and we'll, you know, we'll hit something else. <laughs> you know, we're Excellent. both guys on the fly. You know, so it's like if it's working and we're feeling it, we'll stay there and we'll push it all the way. And uh, you know, you want whatever it is, man. Stairway to heaven, we'll give it to you. But uh, <laughs> uh, there are a lot of tunes of Burning Rain that I kind of favor. Um, there's some great ones we did on tour. We were mostly supporting the Face the Music record. Uh, I don't think we'll play quite as much from that record. Um, right. The record before that, people talk about a lot as well, Epic Obsession. So we'll probably mm. play a few more off of that that we didn't play last time. Um, there's a couple of uh, standards with the burning rain, like heaven gets me by that I've got to do, uh, face the music. I kind of got to do that, uh, lead yeah. song off the last record. Um, and some other stuff. There definitely be some burning rain. And like <laughs> I say, man, we'll, we'll steer the ship. It might be different at each club. It, it will be different. Um, you know, I think Jack has worked up about 35 of the songs at this point that I know. So, I mean, that's a lot of songs. That We're is going to play that many. Uh, I'm, and, I'm sure you could do a few encores of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Keep, um, you, go keep you going for the next couple of days. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, it's a short tour, so we're not going to be burnt out. I mean, we're going to no. be pretty fresh all the way through. Um, you know, I plan on playing longer if we can, you know, if we can get a little bit more time in at each venue, depending on how the crowd is. So, you know, expect to hang out for a bit call out songs let us know what you want to hear um we're there for you guys excellent excellent so now after this tour what does the future hold for you i mean are you going back to this um uh, rock vault thing or are you gonna well i am try and record? Uh, but you know i'll slow down with it as necessary my current touring band is kingdom come right okay so um james kotek when he parted ways with scorpions a few years back, wanted to put together the original line of the Kingdom Come. Mm -hmm. Lenny Wolf had retired yeah. uh, out in Germany, wasn't interested in doing it. And James asked me if I would. And um, I listened to the music. I knew some of it. And it's kind of right in my wheelhouse that, you know, what Lenny did, you know, if I just sing it my way, it still kind of works, uh, which is kind of what I'm all about. That's what happened with Montrose too. I just kind of sing it the way I sing it. But Ronnie felt like I was giving it whatever it was uh, what it, whatever it was about my voice that was working and mm. breaking up like where Sammy broke up and made it sound very similar um just you know happened to work out and i think the same thing happened with kingdom come it's just you know if i just kind of take a breath and do what i do um it just pops out and everybody's happy so uh yeah i got kingdom come coming up we just um signed up with a new agency out of la okay. uh, after being kind of on hiatus for a little while after um, trying to decide what to do about um, having to move on with a new drummer and all of that, you know, uh, seeing if we should wait for James to kind of rehab his way back into the band or if we should just like keep moving on. And I guess at this point, everybody just voted like, let's just go full steam ahead. And uh, so 2024, I'll be probably doing a lot more Kingdom Come gigs. Uh, that is which, excellent news. Yeah, which I'm looking forward to. I'd love to get over to Europe. I, I just love the fans, you know, in Europe, mm. like because they're so into the same music kind of that I'm into and you know that we're into. It seems like seems like America's kind of a little bit more it's very dispersed here, you know. Okay. Attention spans are, are kind of small and short, and uh, you know, it's kind of a little bit different. I mean, mostly outside the US, I think. I find there are more rock and roll fans that like the kind of music we do and, yeah. uh, and especially Western Europe. So I'm really okay. looking forward to getting over there. Well, excellent. Um, we'll wrap it up there because I know you're a busy, busy man. Um, <laughs> we, we can see you again uh, from early October in this country on an acoustic tour. Um, I will, I'm definitely trying to make at least one date. Um, Hopefully, I wish you 
all the best with the Kingdom Come uh, project because I, I saw Kingdom Come back in 88 when they supported wow. Magnum all those years ago. I think it must have been the, like the first album when they broke. So that's quite exciting for me. So uh, to hear your voice in, in that mix, I mean, I, yeah. I, I am really There's some stuff around that. on YouTube. We'll play some Kingdom Come at the show too. Brilliant. We'll, we'll, Brilliant. Play, we'll play a few of those. We got it. Jack's got a few of those worked up. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And like I said, People love it. We'll keep doing more. If people are like, well, you know, play some more Burning Rain, then we'll do that. <laughs> Excellent. Keith, <laughs> thank you very much for your time. It's always a pleasure speaking to you. Take care. Back at you, Dave. Are, now, listen, are you a musician yourself? No. <laughs> Singer? <laughs> no, no. I'm just a, I'm just a lowly DJ. I, I, well, I... we'll, we'll drag you up and do something with you if you come down, man. We'll have some fun. <laughs> You'll be paying people to stay in the room if I start singing. <laughs> well, Thank hey, man. We'll, we'll do something. We'll we'll take a couple of slugs or whatnot, man. We'll, ha we'll, we'll have some fun if you come down, man. I promise. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to this now. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. No, 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 no. Okay. Thank you very much, Keith. All right, Dave, man. Have a good night. <laughs>